So welcome students. So in this question you are asked to find the sum of all the roots of this equation. Sin inverse of 2x is equal to cos inverse of x. So the first thing that I need to observe is x has to be positive. x has to be positive, right? Because if x is negative, sin inverse of 2x is an angle in the fourth quadrant and cos inverse of x will be an angle in the second quadrant. We know that the range of sin inverse x is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. That is if a positive number goes inside sin inverse, you get an angle in the first quadrant. If a negative number goes inside sin inverse, you get an angle in the fourth quadrant. Similarly, with respect to cos inverse, if a positive number goes inside cos inverse, you get an angle in the first quadrant. If a negative number goes inside cos inverse, you get an angle in the second quadrant. So there is no intersection in the negative numbers. So for this to be valid, my x has to be positive. That is x should lie between 0 and 1, for instance. But uh, my 2x, my 2x is going inside sine inverse. Whatever number is going inside sine inverse should be in between 0 and 1. So if x is 1, assume that x is equal to 1, cos inverse 1 will be defined but sin inverse 2 will not be defined. So for both of them to be defined, x has to be still smaller. So x should belong to 0 to half. So all my solutions will lie in this interval. All my solutions should lie in this interval. Only then there is a chance of this equation getting satisfied. Now let us try to find exactly what are the roots. So to do that, let us solve this. The so sin inverse of 2x is equal to sin inverse of 2x is equal to. So let us try to convert cos inverse x into sin inverse x. That is sin inverse of root of 1 minus x square, right? So this is how we convert cos inverse into sin inverse. This implies sin inverse of something is equal to sin inverse of something. So 2x should be equal to root of 1 minus x square. This implies 1 minus x square should be equal to 4x square. 1 minus x square should be equal to 4x square. This implies 1 is equal to 5x square. So x is equal to plus or minus 1 by root 5. So x should be equal to plus or minus 1 by root 5. So there are only two solutions. And out of this as you can see, 1 by root 5 is in between 0 and half. There is no problem. But minus 1 by root 5 is negative. So this solution has to be discarded. Negative solution has to be discarded. So effectively if you see there is only one solution. So what is the sum of all roots? Sum of all roots has to be 1 by root 5. That should be the answer to this question. Thank you.